The auxiliary power unit or the APU is a small engine on the tail section of a jetliner. It doesn't provide any propulsion, but it generates electricity and provides air conditioning when the engines are not running. Since engines can't be started solely by batteries, APU also provides pneumatic source to help them start. 737 is amongst the one that demands a lot of manual intervention. For example, to start the engines, the crew needs to toggle a few switches and also monitor the engine startup all the way, uh, being ready to abort it should there be any malfunction. Now here in, in the air conditioning panel, you can see the engine bleed and the APU bleed are all on. Since the engines are not running, there's no, nothing coming from the engine bleed. And the APU is providing the bleed to the packs. Pack is by the way short for pressurization and air conditioning kit. Now to start the engines, the crew needs to manually turn the pack switches off. What that does is basically it makes the pneumatic source available for the engine via bleed. Engine start switch to ground, initiating the start sequence. Start valve open, N2 rising. At 25% N2 or max mode ring engine fuel cutoff lever to run. Fuel flow in, EGD comes up, oil pressure starts rising. To avoid the start for any malfunction, move the fuel cutoff lever to cut off. Now abort is done for a couple of reasons like for hot start which is basically EGD rapidly increasing towards the red line. Wet start which is the, there's a fuel flow but there is no rise in EGD. Hung start is where we have the fuel flow and the EGD but the N1 or the N2 suddenly stops rising or for no rise in oil pressure. And for this, the crew needs to time the start by using the chrono. At 56% N2, the start switch moves back to normal. And that's a good start. Repeat the same for the other engine. After that, the crew needs to set up the cockpit before taxing out. Generators on. That is, we are using the engine generators now instead of the APU. Probit switch is on. Packs both to auto, isolation valve to auto. Turn the APU bleed off since we have engine bleeds now for air conditioning and pressurization. Engine start switches to continuous. Turn the APU off. Systems page. Take off flaps. Then flight controls check before the taxi checklist. Let's compare that to Airbus 320. APU is running and so is the APU bleed for the packs. And to start the engines, engine mode selected to start. Wait for all the engine parameters to show up. And then engine master switch to on. And the FedEx, which is full authority digital engine control, takes over the whole start sequence and it aborts when it detects any other malfunctions. So there's no need to switch packs off, it is all done automatically. You repeat the same for the second engine and before we can taxi out the after start flow comes up engine mode select to normal apu bleed off and ti is as required apu off status space check and additionally speed brake arm take off flaps and then the checklist and you're good to go now before you can say that airbus is so advanced let me stop you right there because things are similarly automated with the other Boeings like the 747 and the 777. But let's take a look at the Dreamliner. 787 is a powerhouse. 787 batteries are so powerful that they can start engines without any need of pneumatic source from the APU. In fact, they are so powerful that it can start both the engines at the same time. So here it goes. Engine start switches both to start. Fuel control switches both to run. The computer takes care of it all. Any malfunction, the computer will abort the start, do a dry crank if needed and then attempt a start again without having the crew to move the start switches. And uh, after the start, APU switch off. Anti as as needed. Secondary engine display off. Take off flaps and then the flight control check before calling out the electronic checklist. So, this was just a small comparison between all the types. You really can't tell if one is better than the other. They're all just amazing in their own ways. What's your favorite one and uh, why? Think over it and let me know. Thanks again for watching. I'll catch you all in the next one. Ciao.